baby that had a pink bow on my head too with scotch tape. I've upgraded to a sequined, rust-colored bow. Um, all right, let's clap for all of our special guests. Thanks for coming out, you guys. Thanks, thanks a lot. Now, everyone you see up here is getting in the van at 6.30 in the morning and hauling ass to Eugene, Oregon. Please tell your friends who live in Eugene that we're coming. And I'm, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna read a quick little poem. I did this kind of like sneaky thing where like I, um, I, I got to go to Fashion Week to write an article about it in Paris, and then I just took all my notes and made them into poems. So they're kind of fake poems. So I'm gonna read a fake poem. This one's called Single Ladies. This is the best song. There is something about it. But I don't understand. She means he should have married her? It makes me want to dance like a chicken. Put a wing on it. Hummus and whiskey. We have Old Crow and green beans. Red Bull. Red Bull and turnips. Andy Warhol, Mick Jagger, everyone loves Glenn Danzig. She would sleep with him. He would too. Susan B. Anthony, I'm in a Depeche mood. Fashion parties are really weird, so you have to make them really wild. Everyone is wearing clothing they can't walk around in, so you have to make them feel rage. She thinks in melody. She can't read music. She can only hear it. They've known each other so long, they know each what each other, they each know what the other is going to do. They think in each other's melody. He meditates twice a day and in lucid dreams visits his grandmother. Thanks you guys. I think the only other Aquarius in the van besides me is the wonderful Len Plass, who has done so many things. Um, he, he, had a, he had a small press um, that he published an anthology called um, Low Down Highway that I believe we got, we got copies? Not tonight. Well, you can talk to Len. He'll hook you up. But he's written a fantastic memoir, and I think, is that what we're going to hear from tonight? Yes, please clap for Len Plass. Yeah. 